I've just installed the FireWire card and now we're going to get it to work with Logic. We're going to start on the remote page and this is where we get the FireWire card to uh, get our mixer talking with Logic and vice versa. So on the machine control page, out of the su supported devices here, we've, add, we've added machine control for Logic 1. Now just a hint that in Logic and also here, uh, we need to treat this mixer like a Mackie Huey mixer. That's how, that's how the uh, software and the mixer are going to work together the best. So we've got that set up for machine control. Now in external control, same thing, just 24 channels, MC for logic. That's what we've chosen from the side here, Mackie control. So now that uh, the basic stuff is done, we're going to go to the digital page and look at slot 1, because that's where we've installed the card. Now we can see on the left here that the card status is OK, FireWire is working fine, so we know we've installed it properly. Um, and then for input and output, we're setting both of them to 32 tracks. It uh, doesn't matter that we're only sending 24. Um, and now at the bottom we can see that the firmware is up to date. We've looked online and there's, n there's nothing more up to date than that for the FireWire card, so on we go. And we're going to go to the routing page and ignore all that other stuff and go for the output slot. Now by default, the output slot sends buses, 1 through 24 or 1 through 32. So we want to change that to sending the mic and line signal. So we're going to go down to input bypass mic line. And that basically means that anything that comes in to the preamp gets sent through that slot output. Um, you know, when you mute the channel, that doesn't affect this. When you EQ the channel, none of that affects this because this is pre-fader, pre-EQ, pre-everything. So we've gone down to input bypass mic line. Now here is where we can pick which tracks we want to uh, route through the slot card, the firewire card. And on the left here, I could go up and because my mic line is selected, I could go one by one and pick mic line one, mic line two. But there's a faster way, and that's by scrolling down here to batch setup. And then I can do eight tracks at a time. One to eight, done. Now I'm going to go down to the next set of tracks on the slot card. Change it to batch setup, nine to 16. They're done. And the third set of tracks, tracks 17 to 24. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, that's all the routing we need to do for output. We'll cover input another time.